It doesn't take us long to make the connection that God is the owner of this vineyard. It is him who purchases the land, invests in it. It is him who goes and sets up all the structures and essentials that a vineyard needs in order to thrive. Just like God sets up our world for us. Suddenly, we realize that this is the Bible in a nutshell, told in a simple story, in a parable by Jesus. But if we are to view it simply as a lovely story that sums up the Christian faith and how we get to where we are, or we think that the indictment is only for the religious leaders at that time and has nothing to do with us thousands of years later. We would leave this parable having learned nothing, having not been challenged in any way. What is God saying to you and I today when we read this parable? Three things. Let us start by looking at the two obscure or absurd things that happen in this particular parable. The first is that the landowner sends his son Despite all the evil that has been done to previous messengers, who would continue to try? Who in their right minds would continue to keep serving, uh, sending messengers and servants to try and collect that? Who in their right mind would send their son into such a hostile environment. Our God would and does. Our God keeps reaching out to us, sending servant after servant and ultimately sending his son to bridge the gap in order that he might have a relationship with the tenants. That is still in play today. God gives us every opportunity to be reconciled with him. God gives us every opportunity that we might choose to do the right thing and to be in right relationship with God. The second obscure thing happens is that the tenants seem to think that if they kill the son, they would have ownership of this vineyard. Oh, how we have not changed. For we too still think that if we kill the son, we will have rights to the vineyard. That we would be autonomous and independent of God. That we would be the ones to be able to rule over all of it, even though it doesn't belong to us. We fight God. We look for devious and sneaky ways of trying to capture the vineyard for ourselves. Not much has changed. For we as humans are still the same even though it's thousands of years later. 
And finally, just as God called those who were tenants of the vineyard to account for their actions, to produce fruit, to demand that production of fruit, so we will face God and He will account from us, demand from us the fruit that He has called us to produce, to love God and to love one another. One day, we will stand before the Lord and we will account for our deeds, good and bad. We cling, not because it is our right, but because it is God's gift to His grace. For each of us have become a tenant of the vineyard entrusted to us. The vineyard of our family and our community, we have become the tenants. God has removed the, 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 the religious leaders as the go-between the people and himself. Each of us has a relationship with God and we will be called to account for what we have done in our vineyard. Thanks be to God. Amen.